Obviously, you're getting up a lot of shots. Back feels okay now? Yeah, it feels a lot better. What, what did you do? Just treatment and... Eyes, rehab, right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to get myself together. All right, thank you. How long does it take you, or are you still getting acclimated to playing here in Cleveland? I mean, yeah, you know, I'm still learning, you know, but um, there's no time to learn right now. You know, it's playoff basketball, and we gotta gotta compete. Is your role here different than it was in uh, Sacramento? Uh, for sure. You know, we wasn't playing for anything in Sacramento. We we're playing for a championship here, so um, you know, the role's completely different. But um, you know, like I said, you know, I gotta come in every day and compete. A lot of missed shots and a lot of turnovers. Yeah, I mean, for instance, uh, Kevin and Kyle were 0 for 6. Um, not that it's only their fault, but if those shots go that early, you think it's a different game? I mean, yeah, if we, if we didn't turn the ball over, we made shots, of course it would be a different game. But um, the way we started is unacceptable. You know, didn't make shots, didn't defend well, turned the ball over. Um, and they fed off of those things. And anytime you give a team like that life, they build off of it. Uh, How has it been for you and your young family moving around? I, I assume they're out here with you now. That'd be all right. Um, you know, it's a business. You know, they they figure it out. I think they've been doing a great job of learning the learning the ropes and uh, figuring the things out so far in the last eight years. So um, it's nothing new to them. Two and three months. I mean, you got Darren Collison was there when I first got there. Um, Miles, Glenn, Joe Young, um, Lance. So, I mean, no. Like I said, it's a business. You know, them guys are still friends of mine off the court and things like that. Uh, wish them luck just like they wish me luck, but um, we have a job to do. Was there some point where when you wanted to try to get back to Indy? I don't know. It was no big deal. If it happened, it happened. If it didn't, it didn't. I wasn't going to lose sleep over it. George, there's obviously been a lot of conversation about your guys' offense scoring 80 points. But on the other side, how would you assess the defense performance of the I mean, I think they shot 43%, scored 98 points. Um, yeah, we, we could have limited some, some points here and there. 17 points off of turnovers, I think, that we gave, them, gave up or fast break points or whatever it was. But... Um, I think for a defensive side, we were solid in certain situations of the game, second half mainly. Um, it was just that first quarter that really put us in the hole. That's the best way you guys can limit other people to take the ball out of the Do you agree with them? I guess so. George, what was, you, you do, what was you do you intend to play tomorrow? I don't know. I'll figure it out once tomorrow comes. So there's a, there's a question? I don't know. What did they tell you? I didn't ask it. Oh, well. Man, it's true. It's a plus minus. You know, you got your family and friends, and then you got everybody who wants something. Um, everybody thinks you owe them something. So um, it, it was fun in that aspect as far as, you know, being there with my family and friends, playing for a team that I grew up watching as a kid, going to Mark Square Arena back in the day where Mark Jackson and those guys, Dale Davis, Aaron McKee, and all those guys were playing. So um, I, I feel that lifelong dream as a kid. and. Um, I, I had five great years there with the fans and my family and friends and the coaching staff and teammates, but um, it was a true blessing. Anything you particularly miss about any of Family and friends. Sufficient out here today? David Benner, probably. Oh, David Benner. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't miss him. Where, yeah, where, where are you in your career? I know this is the last year of your contract. Would you like to get one more good deal? And We'll have next year left, and then oh, that's year. my last year. Don't settle me short. Um, <laughs> who knows? You know, I'm feeling how my body feels. I, I was never that type of guy who tried to put, you know, years on it, saying I want to play 20 years or whatever. I always dreamed just about having a successful career. If I if I was able to get the opportunity to do it, 
um, be healthy free, you know, raise a beautiful family, but also, you know, when my when my kids get enough old enough to be able to take them to school and, and don't miss those important games. So um, I figured it out after next year where I go from there and who knows, maybe some team will want a veteran guy to come in and, you know, play some 15, 20 minutes uh, here and there and I get that opportunity. But, you know, I make that decision later in life. Did you feel like you got a second chance this year being with a non-contender and now with a championship contender? I mean, definitely so is a, a blessing. You know, for me and my family, for me and my career, um, to get another opportunity, you never, you know, know what you got to is gone. You know, to be in the situation I was, you know, um, kind of took some confidence and things away. Um, but, you know, Cleveland gave me another opportunity, so I just got to make the best of the opportunity. Defend better. I mean, you can't, it wasn't just him. You know, I think they played a great all-around game. All the guys, Lance coming off the bench, giving them a spark. Um, Bogdanovich hitting some big shots. Miles hitting some big shots. Um, you know, Corey hit a big shot in the corner. Um, so we can't just put it all on him, but I think they're just a, a good overall, good team. And we can't just nip the butt on one guy, but we have to just be defensively, I mean, good defensively all around. One game, a win is a win. Um, I don't hold any animosity with any team, any organization I've been with. You know, I, I wish that organization the best of luck. I'm happy that they're having a hell of a year. So, um, but just so happy we're playing them, and it's, it's no disrespect, but I want to win just as bad as they do. I mean, it's very important. You know, he's he's another guy that we. Um, count on in this offense. So as long as we can get those that guy going and keep Brian going and, you know, try to get our other guys going, uh, the better off we're going to be. Three, two, one. Need help with your game? Registration is now open for Cavs Academy 2018 Summer Camps. This unique opportunity provides boys and girls between the ages of 5 and 17 the chance to work with dedicated coaches to improve their game while having fun. Cavs Academy Summer Camps are great for all skill levels. Visit Cavs.com slash academy to enroll today.